Welcome back to the Wildcast, guys. Hope y'all doing well out there. In this video, we're going to be talking about another loss for Donald Trump, and that is because the D.C. appeals courts, a tri-panel of judges, has ruled against him in his efforts to hide his tax returns, which he's been trying to do, I believe, since about 2019. That's when the uh, head of the Ways and Means Committee in the House of Representatives asked for his tax returns. But this issue goes back, I believe, before the presidency because there was a there was a scandal about how he was the first president to not release his tax uh, returns going back some number of years because I know Mitt Romney did it, Obama did it, Hillary Clinton did it, so everybody did it except for him. For whatever reason, he refused to um, uh, just open that up to the public. Okay, and he had some excuses, I'm sure. Uh, the courts didn't buy it. One of his own judges ruled against him uh, earlier, and now. Uh, the appeals courts have also ruled against him, as you guys can see. We're going to go, uh, we're going to be look at, looking at the result of this. This is the actual ruling by the appeals court, which came out today. And But I'm going to summarize for you guys what happened here. So back last year, he was denied his efforts to try to keep this under seal by Ju Judge McFadden over here, who was appointed by Donald Trump. So that's hilarious. And that further proves what I always say, which is that judges and the justice system is not political. Although the Supreme Court did just, you know, uh, put into law their religious beliefs, but that's very rare. And that's a grave violation and thing things like that should not be done just because they're Catholics. They wanted to ban abortion in half the country. So they used their uh, religion and put that above the law, which is a disgusting thing. And uh, it kind of backs up the idea that there should be a religious test for office. People who put God or whatever other magical fairy that they believe in above the law should not be allowed to be uh, a judge. Uh, this judge, on the other hand, was fair. He was appointed by Trump, but nevertheless, he ruled against Trump because there's no way for him to make an argument that he has the right to conceal uh, these tax records because he was a former president. OK, and uh, and he says it here. Judge McFadden says that here. But even if the former president is right on the facts, he is wrong on the law. A long line of Supreme Court cases requires great deference to facially valid congressional inquiries. Even the special solicitude accorded former presidents does not alter the outcome. The court will therefore dismiss the case. So this is when that judge ruled against Donald Trump. So after losing there in the district court, he appealed it up to the uh, D.C. Circuit Court, the appeals court there. And now he has lost there as well. Now, he does have another uh, couple levels of appeal. He can go to an en banc hearing of all the uh, appeals court judges, which is another level of appeal. And then he can take it up to the Supreme Court. Who knows if he's going to do that? Most likely he will because he doesn't want to quit. Uh, but I want to read you guys part of the ruling by the court here. Um, the bottom line is they ruled against Trump's claims. He claimed that because of the fact that he's a former president, that he should not have to release his financial uh, documents. And the court ruled against him. While it is possible that Congress Congress may attempt to threaten the sitting president with an invasive request after leaving office. Every president takes office knowing that he will be subject to the same laws as all other citizens upon leaving office. This is a feature of our democratic republic, not a bug. So that's exactly what I said in my last video. Donald Trump is not some special person. Just because you were the past president doesn't mean anything. You're like me now. You're a regular citizen. Okay, well, it's, he's not like me. He's much richer than me. That's also a fact. But he's a citizen, right? His his level of official power is gone. He's no longer the president. OK, and uh, even uh, in my opinion, even sitting presidents should not be uh, exempt from turning over financial documents if they're relevant to some case. Now, I never got that involved in this whole debate about him re releasing his taxes. And I know a lot of people who are opponents of Trump were involved in that effort. I didn't really see a point in that. Uh, I think, you know, transparency is good, but it wasn't the biggest fight that I was focusing on. But I know a lot of people are interested in this, so I want to cover this at least once. OK, so let me give you guys some more information on this. In a unanimous ruling, a three judge panel on the U.S. Court of Appeals for the District Circuit, a D.C. Circuit, ruled against various Trump related parties who have long sought to keep the 45th president's financial documents under lock and key. The 33 page opinion is a significant victory for Democrats on the U.S. House of Representatives Ways and Means Committee who have for years tried to obtain Trump's tax returns and other information in the name of oversight and lawmaking. Quote, every president takes office knowing that he will be subject to the same laws as all other citizens upon leaving office, Ronald Reagan appointed U.S. District Judge David B. Santel wrote. This is a feature 
of our democratic republic not a bug that's what i just read you guys from the ruling itself and they quoted that judge karen lacroft henderson a george w bush appointee joined centel in the opinion judge robert wilkins a barack obama appointee concurred in part and concurred with the judgment the ruling upholds the decision of trump appointed u.s district judge trevor mcfadden who ruled against the former president as well Committee Chair Richard Neal has sought the document since 2019, but the U.S. Department of Treasury first lodged an ob objection, prompting the still ongoing court battle. The change in administrations in 2020 resulted in the Treasury Department eventually dropping their opposition, allowing the various Trump parties to intervene. In response to Tuesday's ruling, the committee said they expect to gain access to the former president's tax returns immediately. That, however, is unlikely to happen. The ruling will most likely be appealed to the full appellate court and presumably to the U.S. Supreme Court if the Ways and Means Committee continues to seek the documents from Trump. In the ruling upholding McFadden's earlier decision, Centel wrote that Congress has, quote, broad and indispensable authority to secure needed information, despite that power not being enumerated in the U.S. Constitution. The ruling goes on to note that such requests must be, quote, related to and in furtherance of a legislative task of Congress, which generally means they must have a potential legislative function. Like I said, Trump is very unlikely to give up on this, especially after what happened to him right now. He's in a very combative mood and he's going to tell his lawyers to keep pursuing this. So most likely it will go up to the Supreme Court, but I don't know. And who knows the Supreme Court might decide uh, to rule in Trump's favor. It, they're unpredictable. They don't care about the law. Okay, That's what they showed us in Roe versus Wade. They overturned a precedent that gave women a fundamental right to control their bodies. They disagreed with that, um, which means that and, and that's a violation of the 14th Amendment, it's a violation of the Fourth Amendment, it's a violation of the First Amendment. All those constitutional rights were violated in the name of Catholicism, in the name of every single one of those people who are Catholics and believe that life begins at conception, a ridiculous idea. OK, but nevertheless, they use they put their religious beliefs over the Constitution and the law. They betrayed the law. And that should be a crime, by the way, but it's not. And they're not going to be punished because they're Supreme Court justices. And there's, you know, special consideration for them. There shouldn't be anybody who betrays a law like this should be uh, impeached out of the judgeship immediately. It's a clear violation of the 14th Amendment, if not all the other amendments I listed. But that's that's what we have right now. I don't think there's any way to uh, I don't think there's any political appetite to actually go after them uh, to impeach them. They, that can be done, but it's a very arduous task. And Biden is definitely not up to it. <clears throat> he's a spineless coward, so he's not going to be able to do that. But that is what should be done because they violated half of American women's uh, constitutional rights. So it's a shame and, and uh, a disgrace to the Supreme Court, which has been a liberty giving institution. The Supreme Court has um, has expanded rights to many different groups in America, including gay people. So they have done good things in the past. So we can't, uh, you know, we can't ignore that just because this recent court did something horrible. But anyways, getting back to this, I am not necessarily that in invested in getting ta Trump's tax returns. I don't think it's going to be the biggest deal. I'm much more concerned about the January 6th stuff and proving that in a criminal uh, court and putting him in prison where he belongs. This financial stuff maybe will work out and show something criminal or nefarious. I don't know. I don't think so. So I don't think this is the biggest deal, but I know people are interested, so I decided to cover it. But that's basically all I got to say for this video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, make sure to like the video, subscribe, hit the bell, press all for future videos. And if you want to support my work, you can do so on Patreon. There'll be a link in the description box down below and your support will be much appreciated. If you also want to support me on YouTube, you can join by clicking the blue join button down below and your support will be much appreciated. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys next time. As always, peace. The insurance paperwork is going to be a nightmare. Yeah, Blarg. Can you see how sorry I am? Hey, Dreddy Boy, that's business. Welcome to my world. Stay off mine. Hmm? Can we just sort of shake hands? Get out of my face. But, um, this ain't the laughing matter. All that drock about jurisdiction cost me an arrest. In my book, that's interfering with judge business. And that is a crime. Oh, come no, on. No, you come on. This is Mega City One. We don't do demarcation. We don't pussyfoot around. Dread. The law is all that matters. Someone messes with the law. Someone messes with me. Oh, to be like this. Hope you I... like corporation property creep. Because next time you cross that line, 
You're under arrest. <laughs> All right, Trinity. Have it your own way. Now get out of my sight. Oh, forget it, Joe. That's alien town. There ain't no such thing as justice. While I'm around, I am the law. And don't you forget it. 